Hey everyone, so I've had a lot of you watch my older video that showed you how to download an album from your Facebook account along with individual images. And a lot of you have come back and said, uh, there's no cogwheel, where is the cogwheel? Well, this is what happens when Facebook decides to change its complete design and the way that you download your images and your albums. Unfortunately, there is no longer a way for you to download each individual album, but there is a really simple way for you to download all of your images from your Facebook account onto your computer, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. Hey everyone, it's Audrey with Social Media 4, that's the number for beginners.com, where I teach you the complete newbie how to use the different social media sites and all this new technology so that you can stay connected to your family and friends. So as I said before, Facebook has changed their design and the way that you download your images. So what I'm going to do in this video tutorial is to show you how that new way is done. So if you like this video, as always, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button so that you're notified every single time that I put out one of these videos. Without further ado, let's jump right in so you can get all of those videos and images downloaded on your computer. All right, so here we are on the home page of my Facebook account. And now you would think before you would go to your uh, profile, but that's no longer where you're gonna go. Where you wanna go is tap on up here to the top right of your screen, okay? Right here, this little down arrow. And then I want you to click on settings and privacy. So we're gonna click on that and then click on settings. So now you're at your settings and over on the left hand side, you have uh, your Facebook information. Click on Facebook information and then right here where it says trans oh, or download your information. Sorry. They also added um, this transfer your photos or videos to another service. So if you were to click on that, you can see that they've hooked up with Koofer, Dropbox, Backblaze, B2, and Google Photos. So you can download and transfer your um, photos over there as well. Um, so that's just a little a side note right there, but we are downloading our images. And so right here where it says download your information, click on view. And now what it does is it takes you to, let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so that you can see it all. Now, if you wanted to download all of your information that you've ever had on Facebook, you can do that just by making sure that all of these um, are selected, okay? But right now what we're doing is just your photos and videos down to your computer. So what I do is I just clicked on that deselect all so that I can choose the photos and videos. So now once that is the only thing that is highlighted or checked, I want to, you want to look at this date range. So you can do all data, you can do different date ranges and everything entirely up to you. Um, the format, I just keep that as HTML and the medium, the media quality, you can download these images as low res if you don't have a lot of um, space on your computer, medium or high. I've got plenty of space on my my computer so I'm gonna keep it at high and then the next thing you're gonna do is click on create file okay so now it's creating the file and it's going through now depending on how many videos and images that you have uploaded to Facebook this could take a little while okay um, but uh, it's going through and it's just making the copy it doesn't mean that it's downloaded it yet or not it's just made the copy and um, we're going to give it a little bit of time uh, to download while it's creating that file I do want to uh, share with you real quick is that downloading your information it is password protected so you are going to need your password oh down here to the left if you notice this new notification popped up and it said your Facebook information file is ready to download so I could click on this but a lot of times you may have walked away and not even seen this okay um, so what will happen 
happen is normally it will also come up in your notifications. But back to what I was saying is that you're only going to have this uh, copy available for a few days. So this is something that you uh, don't want to, you know, say, oh, I've got it. No, it only lasts a, for a, a few days. So you definitely want to download that pretty much as soon as you get it. Okay. So let me refresh because it's not showing in the notifications up here where it should be. Um, okay, there it is. So now you can see it's in my notifications and I can click on this. Or if you don't get that notification and you don't know where it's at, you know, um, you can always come back here to this download your information and right here where it says available copies. So I can click on available copies or you're more than welcome to click on uh, that information. It's going to bring you right here to your available copies. Okay. So two ways you can get back here. So here is this one. Um, this is my new one. It tells me, listen, this expires November 9th. So it's let me know you want to download this as soon as you possibly can. So what I'm going to do is click on this download. And now what it's doing is it's giving me the opportunity to download it onto my computer. So just for these purposes, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to keep it Facebook and my name and I'm going to I'm going to save it. And now you'll notice right here it's saving as a zip file. So I'm going to click on save and now it's downloading right down here to the bottom of the left of my screen so it's downloaded and now if I want to open it I I'm on a Mac so I just simply click on that and now it unzips the file for me and now what I can do is let me go to my files and click on my desktop Okay, and so here's all of my information right here. And since I unzipped it, it put it in a folder. So I can double click on that. Now I've got this index, but here's my photos and videos. So I'm going to double click on that. And now what it did is it put it in different folders. So I've got my album. Here's my cover photos, my grandbabies, um, my daughter's bridal shower. So if I want to look at that, I can double click and open that up. Okay. And then I can look, let me open my file like this. So now I can see each one of those files and all of uh, the images and everything that I have. And then of course you have your videos right here. So it looks like I had two videos on here and it downloaded those videos. Okay. So that is now how you download your images and your videos onto your uh, computer. So hopefully that helped. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to get those answered for you. And I as always, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified every time I put out one of these videos. And until next time, y'all be blessed. Bye.